Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and here in the UK it is Remembrance Sunday so I have got my second poppy design especially for Remembrance and as I said in my first video on Thursday on actual Remembrance Day decals by design had two beautiful um, decal sheets of poppies and uh, Remembrance inspired pictures and I'm going to use the second sheet in this design and I'm going to do a gel polish design so I've shown you a acrylic design and a gel polish design so I am starting off with Angel which is the real bright white from Gemsdale polish and I'm just applying a nice thin coat to the ring finger and the middle nail um, just nice and thin and then I will cure this for 60 seconds and then apply second coat and cure that now all of these nails are going to have an angel base but I thought I'd work two nails at a time that way I didn't have a nail with a tacky gel coat sat there so that it may collect some dust or bits uh, while I'm working on the other nails as I do need a tacky layer to apply the decals um, so I felt this way was just a little bit easier once my two coats of Angel uh, have been applied and cured. I'm going to use the Black Royal Gel from Crystal Nails. This is one of my favourite gel paints to work with. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a black tip on both of these nails. Uh, so I'm going to start off using the Crystal Nails Zero Short Brush. And I'm going to put in that smile line shape. So starting from the middle and I'm going a nice curved line up to one side wall and then I'm flipping the brush and going to the other and then I will neaten it up with a touch more of the gel make sure in the middle I've got sort of a nice smile shape I don't have any points or dips or anything uh, so just neatening it up I'm not going to worry if it's not perfect because I've got an another brush nearby with some gel cleanser so that I can tidy it up before I cure uh, but once I was happy with that shape, I'm going to switch to the Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush and I'm going to fill in that nail tip. Now I want to paint it on nice and thin, it's so pigmented, you want to work it quite thin so that it fully cures with no bubbles or anything. Plus I don't want a bit of a bump between the white and the black. So I'm just pulling the product from that line down to the very tip and then as I said I'm going to go in with this brush and a little bit of gel cleanser to tidy it up and then before I cure I've just gone back to my uh, zero short just to really tidy up that line it doesn't have to be perfect it's done with gel but I want it to be as perfect as possible and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and repeat the process on the middle finger. Uh, the reason I did that first nail and fully cured it is because I knew I would smudge it if um, I didn't whilst doing this nail. Also, please excuse my own nails. I did a soak off of what I had on, cut them down and I'm going to put some acrylic extensions on. I just haven't got around to it. I've not had acrylic extensions on my nails for about 18 months, so that will be a shock to the system. So, tidying up that sort of smile line and as you see just cleaning up where I'm not happy with it I have sped this one up uh, a little bit more as I showed you the first nail in detail and then once I'm happy with sort of that smile line as we'll call it then I will go in with Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush and paint the very tip um, but I did then tidy up with that clean up brush before curing Cure that for 60 seconds and now I'm going to go in with Gems Betty Base. Now I want some of the decals that I'm going to be applying on that black tip and that is uh, a tack free finish so I'm going to use that Betty Base plus where I use the cleanser to clean up the lines that has removed the tackiness to parts of the angel so this just makes sure I can stick on my decals. And those decals have been on a wet sponge soaking while I've been working. 
So I'm starting off with two of these soldier silhouettes. Um, absolutely loved these uh, and I thought it looked really nice as if they're standing on that smile line and I've got them back to back. And then on the other nail, I'm just going to do a few poppies. Uh, so I've got one right up near the cuticle. I'm going to do a second one sort of just coming down from it. And I then I'm going to do a third that then overlaps onto the smile line. Now, these poppy decals didn't show up on the black. So what I did was I painted the back with some white stamping polish on top of a stamper and then applied them that way. Now I was off camera when I did that, but I am gonna do a video and show you how I did it. And I did the same on that poppy as well. So it showed up on the black. Just a little bit of cleanser on a micro swab to clean up. And now I'm gonna go in with Tina Top just to encapsulate this and finish off the design on these two nails before moving on to the pinky and the index finger. I love that middle thing, finger, I think it's my favourite. <laughs> so those two nails are now finished and we're going to go in and do the two coats of Angel on the pinky and the index finger curing in between. Um, sped this up, I showed it to you before, you don't really need to see it again. Um, so I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then I think I cut out the second coat. Yeah. So my decals on that wet sponge ready. On this pinky finger I've just applied the words lest we forget and then I'm just going to pop a couple of poppies just around that. Because these nails are all completely white I didn't need to worry about painting the back of any of these decals. So just one below, one above, just just to add a little bit of colour to the nail and just to make sure they all tie together nicely. And then I've just got a couple of poppies that I'm going to apply on this index finger. Um, just didn't really matter where they were, I wanted them quite near together, you will see why. So I'm going to stick those down and now I'm just going in with some Betty base over top of these two poppies. And before I pop this in the lamp to cure, just a touch more, I have got a little cross embellishment which I've just applied to that tacky, uh, to that wet gel, cured in place. And now I'm going to go in with a nice coat of Velocity Flex over this uh, just to encapsulate it. Now. Um, because that cross is slightly raised, I just wanted to fully encapsulate it. So just making sure that Felicity is nice and neat and applied all over, and then we can cure that. Now, if it needed it, you could just buff over the Felicity Flex to smooth it out, but I applied it well enough that I could just go straight in with Tina Top, which is what I'm doing to all of these nails now. Uh, and I'm just retop coating the middle too. I know I'd already done that, but two coats can't help, can they? <laughs> and if I was doing this on a person, I would do two coats of top coat. So once I'm happy with that, that is going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now my second Remembrance Inspired Design is done. And I absolutely love this one. I think this was my favourite, purely for that middle nail. I loved how it turned out. Um, so... I do hope you have enjoyed these two Remembrance Day designs. Please check out my Instagram as well because I do have one more um, set that I'm going to post later on today. Um, but that is the end of this video. Uh, so please check out the description box for the product details, but it's pretty simple. All the gels are from the nail team and the decals are from Decals by Design and that little cross embellishment you can get Amazon, eBay, most places that sell nail art. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click subscribe and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!